Here is my one month, her month and a half. It's like month and a week and a day. <laughs> and you can tell they're locking up, getting stiffer, changing dimensions, getting the zigs and zags, and yeah, we'll show hers off a little bit. Still a lot of loose hair with both of us that we've got to work on, but still doing with it. Oh yeah, lots of little loose hair, but it'll eventually. I've got a lot. It'll get better. <laughs> so. But. And Isaac's one little unicorn horn sticking straight up. Yeah, hopefully <laughs> that falls down soon. But. There's, they look like they're slowly starting to fall down other places, but it's like right here is still sticking straight up for them. But the back looks like it's laying down more, for the, the most part. The itch factor has gone down a lot drastically. We built a kit because we're nerdy. We'll show us some of the stuff that's included in that. Some of the stuff we don't need right now, but it's in there. Dread butter. Wait, probably till they're locked. Shake it. Sorry, till they're locked up more. <laughs> It'll make our dreads nice and soft. Moving down. Broken bristle, but that helped separating the hair a lot. Useful tool. I'd get one. Um, using wax somewhat frequently, not like a bunch of wax. This works really good to, for me. Like, it doesn't stay in your hair in your hair like most waxes do. Like people keep saying, oh, you have to pour boiling water over it to get it out. This comes out of our dreads like way easily. Like, and it's I hate good. textures, oil. I hate wax filling. I can tell it washes all the way out. Yeah. I've washed it all the it way totally out. It totally does. Like, I have nothing, I don't have hardly any wax in my hair right now. But this, for me, I like it because I pull my hair in a ponytail while I'm at work. And then I just put some of the wax to help get my frizzies down. And it works good. I like it. And I'll show <laughs> how we use it for maintenance here in a little bit. We bought some Lock Peppa. Um, we don't use it a lot right now. It's kind of just makes your hair go crusty. Not really Not crusty, crusty, but <laughs> kind of crunchy. Um, be useful later on, like rubbing your hair. But, yeah, for the roots, I think it'll be good. Um, elastic bands. They're they're pretty good. Um, hers are just at the tip of her hair. I did. The tip and the root because my hair is so short. Um, using the lock soap, I think both of us, or just the dreadhead soap, to have felt our hair tightening up just using that and maintenance with it. Um, just the standards from last time. Clips are very useful, like if you're working on one dread, just to clip all the other dreads out of the way. It, very nice basic comb, whatever. Um, this loose hair tool is good and bad. You get it in there, you pull hair, like no matter what, if you're doing it how you're supposed to, it's still painful. Um, I'm debating about just removing the latch from it and just using it as a hook, just to hook hair in, but haven't used this yet. It'll be good for blunting. But did see if you're looking at getting them. You could put lock pepper in there. Probably a mess. Mm. Uh, for now, it's nothing to us. Just a random compartment. About one more month, we're gonna take out these little rubber bands and blunt the tips. Um, the one day, I felt like fire ants burning my hair. I haven't had that sensation in a while now but watching some other people's video get that very very good stuff um started relieving the burn pretty much instantly by the time the next day hit completely got rid of all my itchiness um haven't used 
with uh, Locked Octa very much. I'm sure we will with Zigs and Zags. Um, another video I saw using chip clips. Uh, went shopping for chip clips. Couldn't find chip clips I really cared for. Found a variety bag for like three or four bucks at Walmart. And it's got this type of chip clip. It's very, very useful. Just pinch the hair. Goes about a quarter of an inch, half inch maybe, above your scalp. Just pinch in the loose hair and do maintenance. Helps relieve pain on the scalp a lot. Um, another one tool I just started using, which I can tell a huge difference. It, it's out of the ordinary. I've got this little vice grip. I just get it near the dread. Just clip it. I don't go till I can't go anymore. I don't want my hair getting ripped out, but you can get it on the really tight, work on your own dreads, and it's not nearly as painful because working on the roots is very, very painful. Um, thinking about picking up another one of the crochet hooks, but can't really do anything without it. That's everything in our kit. Um, we've also, I used this a lot when I first started to help itch and un, the uncomfort factor, but Naughty Boy Dreadlock Conditioning Spray, I go rub it in the roots really well, just moisturize my scalp, did its purpose for, for a while, my hair's getting used to the dreads now, so. We just got it at Whole Foods. Yeah. Not Whole Foods. Oh. There's a... Whole Foods. I don't think... There's a... There's a... More natural... I think... I think it was. I anyway. <laughs> it's downtown. It's not like by Trolley Square. <laughs> <laughs> um, next up, we're gonna cover hats. I made this hat from a loom probably like three years ago. You're not gonna want a beanie like this. Um... Just filling it. The dreads trying to work their way out. So cute on him. Though. Like just the <laughs> pressure. You'll end up getting a headache if you wear a hat like this. You don't want to do that. Um, when I first got the dreads done, I was using a different beanie. It was doing the same thing. I was getting mega headaches. Very uncomfortable. Um, Heather picked this beanie up for me. Just like a super loose, stretchy beanie. I can't remember the name of the company, but very loose. Just threw it back, threw the dreads in, and it's it served its purpose. It's still you can still feel it pushing dreads against your bare skin. Not the most comfortable feeling thing, but working well. Went on. And we each got hats for Christmas. <laughs> this hat is crocheted. It's got knit at the end. Hers is straight up knit. Light, very baggy. I just shove it on my head. Just make sure the dreads are tucked in. I normally put my hair in a ponytail first. My head hair's short now so I need to put mine in the dryer it's a little bit loose but <laughs> I don't even know how it looks but <laughs> makes for comfortable hair it's very nice um, use a couple of headbands occasionally <sighs> decided I'm gonna start making my own tans cuz the ones I like go between 40 and 60 bucks. Um, I've made chainmail and obviously other hats and stuff in the past, but never knew how to crochet or knit. Slowly learning how to do that specifically for Tams so I can get the designs I like. And This is my first experimental hat, so it's got some flaws, but very useful for learning, so... And I guess we'll go to 
how we use the wax in particular right now. Right now we're in the corner of our apartment where we store our music instruments. Decided to mix it up a little bit. But here's our instruments. <laughs> <laughs> Figured I'd show them off. Mandolin, ukuleles. Anyhow. I won't do it hard because this is kind of by the root, but we'll go in, suck some loose hair in. For me especially, my hair is very, very um, I don't know, it does its own thing. It's very curly. It's got a lot of its own memory. So Just sticking the needle through the dreadlock, grabbing with my thumb, kind of scratches your thumb a little bit, but just pulling that loose hair. Sorry, I'm trying to watch through the screen and. After you get as much as you feel like you can do at the time, because you can't really get it all. This is definitely a matter of patience, dreadlocks as a whole. I'll go a little bit longer. And it's good not to pull at the root, not going this way. Yeah, for sure. Um, can definitely pull up videos and see how they do it, but they go this way a lot, and we do that quite a lot, but not too much because you can start feeling it getting like fatter than it should be. Um, we'll do a lot of like pulling back and forth though, just getting that loose hair compacted in. Then. After you get some, just a little, just a little, just got tip of my finger, just lightest coat, just rub it till it's warm, and all the hair that you just, and we don't even put that much every day, that's just when we're like, Ma strictly maintenance, yeah. Just go work it all the way in in that loose hair. And that for us, that just helps kind of break that memory, bounce back that hair's going to have to help lock it up. Um, probably let it sit till tomorrow. A lot of it wears out by itself since there's only that much, but by the next time ready to shower it's all gonna wash out um, we don't like getting too much in there I don't see a purpose for it going all the way to the center of your dread just I could see it building up too much just a little bit and it's just for maintenance um, or to help eliminate fluff if you have to go to a, a job I've heard a lot of people say they want to see me dread my beard I've been trying to do it. That is the most painful, ridiculous thing. So I'll wait till it's a little longer and we'll see how it goes from there. But as of right now, it's not really happening. That's This is pretty painful. Probably pain intensity. Some of the hair getting pulled is probably like an 8, 7, 8 out of 10. This is probably in the like nine range like equivalent to some of the burns and i don't know it's bad <laughs> facial hair is very very sensitive so other than that um just give a quick nothing special but and the good thing about him having rubber bands right here is like me 
I'm having some of my hair at the roots trying to wiggle its way into the other dreads. He has a little bit of that, but I'm having more of that than him because I don't have the rubber bands at the roots. But I'm so glad I didn't do it. Yeah, every <laughs> every night I'll go just like in between my part lines and like just make sure random loose hair isn't trying to work into another dread it shouldn't. Um, sometimes one hair I've had over here like connect to a dread over here. <laughs> just when you go to move a dread, it's not very comfortable. So watch out for that if you're gonna start. Um, yeah, we're not about the congas. They kind of creep us out too. <laughs> so it's just not for us. That's not for us, <laughs> indeed. All right. Well, that's my one month and her month and a half. So month and a week and a couple days. Yes. <laughs> All right. See you next day. The end.